You know, usul fiqh, the, the, the thing that makes usul fiqh so excited, it brings everything. It brings everything. So it will tell you the categories of speech. Aqsam al-kalam, the categories of, of speech. So first, you need to know exactly what kalam is. What do you consider kalam? What is kalam? What is translation of kalam? Speech. Speech. Words. 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 And exactly, the usul one, you to know exactly when they say kalam, what do they mean about it? What do they mean about it? So we'll move, we'll go to go with the kalam today. They call it aqsamul kalami bi'atibari ma yatarakkabu minhu. So he said the, 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 the categories of speech based on the categories based on what speech is, con is considering or what they consider as a speech. The usul is. What is considered, like what is covered when we say speech and the usulian. You get the point? Mm -hmm. You got it? So we, he is categorizing speech based on what is, you know, within the speech when they say speech. Right? So first they said you need in a speech that will be considered as a speech with Isman, two names. You need Ismani. Can somebody try to find a speech in Usmani? Ismani? You need Isman, right? It's one, two names. Two names. Two names inside Isman? No, Isman, this is two names. You need something called Isman, two names. Let's, uh, no. let's, oh, go. let's go, let's go, let's go. Au, au, or you have Ism, on the Ism, right? Yeah. So when you go, Kalam in Nahu is different, right? Al Kalam huwa al lafdul murakkab mufid bil wadi. That's Al Fibn Mahik, right? Al Kalam, Al Murakkab. Al Murakkab al Mufid bil Wadi, right? Be Lugat in Lugal Arabia. So the, 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 the speech in the Nahu in, lang, in linguistic Nahu is Al Kalam is Al Murakkab. It's connected. Al Mufid is beneficial. Bil Wadi, the way it should be done based on, their, based on fulfilling all the grammar, grammar rules, mm -hmm. right? So, but this one they said it has to be Isman, two names, or only Ism wa fi'l. Ism wa fi'l. Ism wa Wafa'il. So you need ismani or ism wa fi'il to be considered as a speech. Or fi'ilun wa haraf. Or fi'ilun wa haraf. What is fi'il? Verb. Verb or this is a letter, right? Haraf. Or you have ismun wa haraf. Or you have also ismun. Ismun wa haraf. Right? Mm -hmm. Ismun. Ismun wa haraf. So what does it mean about this? In the usul, whatever contains two names, they have to have something for it. Whatever speech that has a noun and a verb, they have something to do with it. Whenever you have a verb and a letter, they have something to do with it, right? Also, whenever you have a noun and a, and a letter, they have something to do with it, right? This is the only thing that is considered as the categories of speech in the Usulian. It's gonna be more clear when you go. So now let's go to their speech بِعْتِبَارِ مَدْلُولِهِ When you want to give a direction or a purpose of your speech, the purpose of the speech in the Usulian, it has to be أَقْسَامُ الْكَلَامُ right? This is أَقْسَامُ الْكَلَامُ, right? But the purpose of the speech is الْأَمْرُ First is الْأَمْرُ They said the speech has to be الْأَمْرُ النَّهِ What is الْأَمْرُ? Command, and nahi prevention. prevention, right? And then you have khabar. You have, you have khabar, and then you have istikhbar. Is, istikh, istikhbar. Okay. No, huh? Yeah. So, uh, istikh, uh, when, in, in the Arabic, when they say istikhbarat, right? Istikhbar. The intelligence, right? I think he's friends with them, I think. <laughs> They're not here. Don't worry, inshallah. So, yeah. So now, an amr. It says, whenever a command comes, the Usulian, they have a nature of dealing with the command. So you need to know exactly that this is part of a speech. Right? It's part of the purpose of the speech. is to 
put all these things to make a command, right? Or to? To nahi, prohibit. Or to give an information, khabar. Or to seek information. Information. So seeking information is intelligence, right? That's what they use, right? So that's istikhbar. So they said the purpose of the speech or the definition of the speech by purpose is al amru wa nahi khabar an an istikhbar. Does it make sense? Yeah. Is it making sense? Okay. Now we go to the al kalam bi atibar isti'malihi. It's where the problem happens. So now you have speech concerning the usage of it. The usage of it. So it has to be al haqiqa What is al haqiqa True. True. Facts, right? Facts. Al majaz. What is majaz? Majaz is metaphor. Right? So when you say something, it has to be haqiqa, fact. It has to be or either or majaz. And all these are being used. You're going to find, sometimes you will not find an understanding in the Quran except it is majaz. What's yes. the Majaz is a, is a metaphor in, in, in English. But it means, it means when you use this, outside of its origin. When you use a word that is outside its origin, what it, what, what it originally mean? You're saying it, but you, when we go back to the origin of that word, that is not the appropriate place for that word, but it's accepted. In language, it's accepted. Because you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna make a point, and if you use majaz, it has to be a strong point that might give the beauty of the speech more than if you use the fact. More than if you use, if you use the fact. So we'll know all these things. But al haqiqa is a fact. Like for example, when you say Uthmanun rajul, that's haqiqa. Uthmanun asal. That is, as a, as a one, one category of majaz, right? Let's call it isti'ara, right? But we don't want to go there. So when we say Usmanun Asad, Usman, Uthman is a, is a liar. Is that a fact? No. Is that a fact? But, but can we, if I, if I want to praise Uthman and say, Uthman is a man, right? And say, so Uthman is a liar. I think using lion will be if I want to put him in, 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 in a level of bravery, right? Mm -hmm. And I think using a lion, maybe now the language is all the language is just like, but back in the days, or people of language, you know, they will not look at you if you say, Uthman is a man, another person will say, Uthman is a lion. You know, so what are you talking about? We know he's a man, right? <laughs> Why do you want to bring them? So we'll tell you, Uthman is a, is a lion, right? That's why they said, Mutanabbi used to say, sometimes you see a lion, uh, smiling sounds like smiling, but Elan doesn't smile. He said, "Ida right and new but lake bari zatan." If you see the teeth of the of the lion outside, like smile. When we smile, our teeth comes out, right? He said, "If you oh. see new but he said, la tadunan and the and the lake Do not think that the lion is smiling, and you go and tap it. It's very very bad. It's what Nabi said that. So now al haqiqa is when you use the word. Based on a fact, Uthman is a man. That's a fact, right? Uthman is a lion. It's not a fact, it's majaz. But it gives more beauty sometimes than when you use haqiqa. So majaz is going to be used in, it's used in the Quran a lot because majaz also has categories. Majaz has categories. So now we understand what haqiqa is, right? And what majaz is. So because all this is part of the speech, so when haqiqa happens, you know exactly what do they mean exactly? If a majaz happens, then there, it might be it might be maybe multiple like understanding or interpretation, right? So that's the benefit of knowing all these things. But if it is haqiq, Uthman is a man, can we come and say, hmm, do we have, he's a, he's a, he has a beard, he has, that's it, he's a man, right? So we don't have to waste our time here. 
Kumsum Majaz, that brings that brings a lot of a lot of uh, things that we need to know. So Tarif al Hakika. The definition of Hakika is what remains in using it using it in its origin. That's what is Al Hakika. And Al Majaz Ma Tuju Wizabihi and Mudurihi. So Majaz is what you extend, what you use outside of its territory. Like Uthman is it's not Asad. But we brought Asad and we extend the name of Asad to Uthman. So it went out of its original usage. Because Asad and Rajul they are two different. But they have something in common based on the person that we wanna make look like a, a lion. Right? Now we got it? Now. So Majaz is very important, brothers. You're gonna you're gonna you wanna know understand what Majaz is in the in the usul. Now they have aqsam al haqiqah and aqsam al majaz. So now majaz, aqsam al haqiqah. First is going to be imma lugawiyya aw shari'iyya aw urfiyya. All comes down. So the aqsam al haqiqah, the categories of haqiqah, facts, is going to be either linguistically, like Uthman is a lion. That's it. In our language, we know lion, linguistically, is a lion. Right? That's haqiqah. Or it can be shari'iyya. It can be based on the sharia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may talk about things in the Quran, Jannah, for example. You know, or talk about Nar, for example. These are haqiqa. They are not majaz. So if somebody comes and says, oh, it's just majaz, then you're going back to the, to, to the aqeedah. This is not, it's not majaz, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have arf. You have arf. Things that we... We initiate names for, and whenever we mention them, that sit we know that exactly is what we is what we mean. It's what is it's what is meant when it comes to the the arf. So we know the arf, right? The custom, right? Yes. Like the custom that's arf. Mm -hmm. So majaz has three categories, right? Ima, you have a majaz that is known by language. A majaz is known by Shara. For example, they call it, I'm going to give you an example of majaz. For example, you have majaz bil hadf. Maj, one of the categories of majaz is when you remove something from the origin. From the, from the origin. When is a statement will be said in the Quran or in the hadith, but there's something that is, that was, that was removed. Mathalan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, laysa ka mithlihi shay. This majaz be, be ziyada. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Laysa ka mithlihi shay. So Allah is saying, there is nothing. There's like an example for it. Yeah. There is nothing like him. Right? That ka is a ziyada. Yes. You don't need ka. You don't need ka. Laysa mithluhu shay'i Because there is nothing like Allah to be compared to. You understand? There is nothing like him to be compared to. So that's majaz. So laysa mithluhu shay'i There is nothing this, it, it, we, I don't think we have a translation for it. There is nothing like him. If you want to translate laysa mithluhu Laysa mithluhu shay'i Or you can Laysa mithluhu shay'i Nothing is him, right? Nothing is Nothing is him But when you say Laysa ka mithlihi shay'i Then you say Nothing like him So what are you comparing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? There's nothing to be compared to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That's majaz That is majaz And the Quran also uses Use the majaz And majaz bi ziyada for example Or majaz uh, for example, you may say al uh, jidar in sort of you read a young qabda, right? They said in the sort of kah faqama. So they said, what they said in the jidar? The jidar? 
نعم قبل هذا Before that, before that, before that. Okay, I'll be before that. So, you read, 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 فوجد فيها جدا يريد. so he said when they came to the city they asked them for food they said no and they saw a, a, a wall that was ready was getting ready to fall. can a wall get ready? <laughs> so he took he took like our nature Allah subhanahu wa taala and put it into the into the wall. It's like the wall is preparing to fall, right? Right? A person is the one who prepares to fall, right? But not the wall. The wall falls without preparing, right? The wall will say, hey, I guess I'm about to fall. I'm preparing to fall, right? You read. So that also is a, is a majaz. But the majaz is the ar, right? So there's a, a lot of forms of majaz that you need in order to understand a lot about the beauty of the, of the Quran. So, now, we said, the haqiqa lughawi. Lughawi or Shari'i or Urfi, right? Mm -hmm. So this aqsam of Haqiqah. So when you want to see the facts of the Haqiqah, you will either see it based on the language or based on the Sharia or based on the, based on the Urf. So you see, Urf is very, it's very strong. It's very strong. That's why there, what is the, what is the largest madhab today? Hanafi. The second largest? Shafi. 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 They are very formed into when it comes to their, their Urf. When I say Urf, everybody will think that custom is like Halloween. No, no. We will go in details with the Urf that is covered by the, by the Sharia, right? What is, what is accepted? Because Sharia will go to a culture. But Sharia doesn't take the culture. Okay? Sharia will take the Urf. So Sharia will not reject everything. But there are good things about those people that Sharia will say, take it. Sharia will adopt that. If we don't have a proof that the Prophet ﷺ adopted that, then we have to find a way of adopting that based on the, the earth that's accepted by these two mashayikhs, by the principle. By the, not what we think that is okay, okay? It's going back to the principle and accepting it as, as a earth. Okay, it's haqiqa. And then we go to the majaz. So aqsam al majaz, you have ziyada nuqsa naql isti'ara. So have, you have ziyada, right? Ziyada, ziyada. We give an example of ziyada, right? It's a kamithlihi shay. Right? And we have nuqsan, right? Nuqsan, example of nuqsan will be if you go, they have hadf, right? نقصان نقل أو استعارة نقل نقل استعارة we give استعارة example of استعارة استعارة you know in Arabic they call this you know استعارة this مجاز is just like تشبيه in Arabic they call what they call it making something to 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 look like something else what they call in English بدل لا بدل بدل شيء آخر هذا استعارة so in English, what they call making thing look like the other thing? Duplicate? Uh, no, it's not duplicate. Like similar, similarizing. Tashbih. Tashbih, yeah, tashbih in Arabic, but. It's called a similar. Similar, right? Similar. Good. S S I N I L E. There's metaphor and then there's simile. Simile, yes, simile. We say simile is like. 
things when it, that are no, alive. You know, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, I get it. Give so, an example. Yes. Yeah. So, this one, when you come and you say, Umar is like, or oh, Musa is like Umar. Musa is like Umar. That is called Tashbi. Right? Because you have Al Mushabbah, or Mushabbah Bihi, what you Tashbi. Right? They look alike, right? Son and any father, they look alike, and you brought the similarity between them, and you bring the tool of, of, of making that. Umar, or oh, Musa, looks like Umar, right? So he brought the two the three principles. The one is the similarity between them, and two is the the tool that you use between uh, to make them look to make them look like. And the third one will be mushabbah, Musha and also you, what no no mushabbah bihi. So you are making you are making Musa your son to look like you. So these are the three principles. So when that happens, that's what they call a tashbi. They call tashbi, right? That's the reason why if we don't have isti'az, we don't have a problem. Because we cannot say, Laysa kamithlihi shay, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's something uh, equal to him or similar to him, that he is, simil he is similaring himself to that, right? So that's why they call al right? So. Ziyada, right? Kamithlihi is ziyada, right? Yes, yes. That's the ziyada. That's the that's, uh, ziyada here. That's ziyada here. So, naql, naql is to take something, naql is copy, yeah. to, to transfer something to something else, right? Mm -hmm. So that is jidar, right? The jidar, the, 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 the wall. Yeah, the wall doesn't have a readiness to, to fall, right? So then you will have uh, majaz that also is naql, to remove something from here to the other thing. That doesn't have it, you put it, you put it there, right? So these are the, the categories of the of the majaz. And nuqsan. Nuqsan, They call it When you go to Surah uh, Yusuf, if you don't understand majaz, nuqsan, or hadf, you don't get it. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the malik, to, the, to the, uh, the, the, the leader, right? He saw a dream. And after that, Yusuf, alayhi salam, he was with these guys in their prison, and then a long story. So making the long story short is majaz al hadf right? To 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 cut the to cut the things. Summarize. Summarize like 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 uh, it has summarizing the meaning, sum, uh, removing words also as majaz al hadf So I'm going to give an example. So Allah subhanahu wa taala said, uh, Yusuf ayuha siddiq. Before it said, I will tell you yes. Oh, is it correct? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Well, let me just finish this. Let me go. So you, uh, so the, the the person who was going to Yusuf to to bring him to interpret the dream, right? He said, "I don't want to be with you for He said, "I will tell you the dream. Send me, right?" And he said, "Yusuf, you have said So they call it hadf Juman. So here, Allah Subhanahu didn't say he prepared. He took his ride, he went to the city, he knocked, he asked the guards, and he saw Yusuf, right? So they call it Hadh Jumal, that's Majaz, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed all that to give us the meaning and it shows the beauty. When you say, Yusuf ayuha siddiq, without taking all that process, it make your mind start working. When the guy was ready, and all these things, and directly he went to Mu he went, he went to he went to Yusuf, and it shows how quick that was. But it was not a magic. He took a ride and he or he walked. He did the process and he went to move and he went to Yusuf and he asked Yusuf. But that is not that was not mentioned. That's what majaz hadf. So also we, we also need we also nuqsan and hadf is, is the same, inshaAllah. Sorry.